Hello, hounds of Room 18. It has truly been an extraordinary year, not only because of the global pandemic, which sent us all home in March, but because of many other important reasons that I hope you'll remember for the rest of your life. First, we have our memories, the best of fourth and fifth grade. Do you remember the day we went to the science lab to make bread? I can still remember teams of scientists standing over the bowls, waiting for the yeast to activate, and when the bubbles appeared, there were exclamations all over the room like popcorn. It was a fabulous day. When you shared the bread around the tables outside the cafeteria, that was the moment I felt that you became a class. As our school year comes to a close, we have learned some of the most important lessons of all, how to be brave, to persevere, and how to creatively solve problems and satisfy our needs. Fourth graders, I can't wait to see you around campus, live, as you become the oldest kids in school. And fifth graders, I know that you'll carry your love of learning and your wonderful study skills with you to middle school. Virtual hugs to you all. Hello, Hickory Hounds. My name is Connor Chang, and I'm going to tell you about what it means to be a Hickory Hound and how it has prepared me for my next steps. Just like the word hound, the H stands for helping others. When anyone is needing some help, be there for them. The O stands for owning your actions. This means if you do something wrong, you should own up to that mistake. But if you do something good and someone else gets credit for it, then you should own up that you actually did it. U stands for use a positive attitude. Like the name suggests, this means to always come to school with a ready to learn attitude and a smile on your face. N is navigate your future. This means to be thinking about your future now. Finally, D is do your best. I'm sure you already know this, but it means to try your hardest at everything you do. Hickory has prepared me for my next steps by teaching me countless lessons, allowed students to have a say in what we do, which is student council, and show me what it's like to be a good student and person. So get out there and be a hound. Hello students, teachers, administrators, and parents. The school year is already coming to an end, and before you know it, we'll be in middle school. Our teachers here at Hickory have taught and supported us through many years. We made friends who will always be there for each other. Fifth grade started out fun, challenging, and exciting, but then things switched up on March 13th that would change everything. I'm pretty sure everyone remembers that day very clearly. I was in Ms. Clark's class when she told us that we'd be learning from home. We packed all our textbooks, notebooks, and folders into our backpacks. The weeks that followed were bizarre. Everyone was getting used to this new normal. Despite having to stay at home, virtual learning, and a world pandemic, we continued to work hard independently. We stay in touch with our friends online through Zoom and Google Meet. I'd like to thank all our teachers and administrators for overcoming challenging obstacles and supporting and educating us through it all. I wish you all the best of luck in middle school. Thank you. Hello, my name's Sophia and fourth grade was a really fun year for me this year. It was a very special year, even if we were stuck at home for about a quarter of it. Here are some of my favorite fourth grade memories. Number one, making tie-dye shirts. It was so fun. I even wore my shirt on Sunday and now as I record my video. It was also fun playing at the playground and picking the type of shirt we were going to wear. I also love making bread. It was some of the best bread I've ever tasted. So yeah. These were some of my favorite fourth grade memories because we were all together and having fun. Thank you for listening to my presentation about my favorite fourth grade memories. Hmm, still thinking about that bread. It was so good. Hmm. Anyways, bye! Hello fellow Hickory Hounds. Today I'll be telling you about my favorite memories in fifth grade. I have been in Hickory since TK. This is my seventh and last year in Hickory. So sad. I know. I love this Hickory. This past year I've been trying to make my last year more special. I'm giving a huge shout out to my friend Cammy, who is kind and hardworking. I will leave Hickory with memories that I will remember and cherish forever. 
The most surprising memory was when Miss Pendrick bought us lemonade. I remember that it was a very hot day, and we all ran out of water in water bottles. Like, our mom's even pack of stuff water bottle. Water? Mom, I said water bottle. <sighs> Mess up words. Then she brought it in and told us not to scream when it was lemonade. Miss Pendrick was like, oh, I wonder what that is. She let us pour into our water bottles to keep it cold. That was the most surprising memory in fifth grade. My favorite memory is the time we went to Hickory Park to tie-dye. We first ate popicles while playing outdoor games, such as soccer. Then we sat out on the grass and started tie-dyeing. I remember that I used to much tie-dye, so I almost got in trouble. That was so embarrassing, like literally. Ms. Pennick is a very forgiving teacher. This is my favorite memory in the in the history of favorite memories. These memories will not be forgotten. I remember how my teachers have prepared me for middle school. I'll be a hickory hound to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Winston will <laughs> will never forget hickory. Winston really just really wanted to say goodbye. So bye. Hi Hickory fifth graders, boy oh boy am I proud of you. My whole speech to you is about how proud I am of you. Since you have been here, think of all the changes that have occurred. And now currently you didn't even get to attend the last third of your fifth grade year to really put your stamp into Hickory. But don't you worry, you did put one and you put one on my heart and all of your teachers hearts. You are so amazing with all the knowledge and things that you guys have right there at your fingertips and you're using them even more than ever right now with our distance learning. Don't forget your time here at Hickory. We will never forget you. Come back, see us, come back and tell us all the things that we're proud of you for. We can't wait to see what the world brings you. So here you go, one more time from your principal, Mrs. Mayberry, show me your paws. You are proud to be a hound. Your attitude is everything. You are creative and confident. Share, shine, succeed at everything you do in life. Great job, hounds.